Hey guys, it's Anthony Fontana here. I'm a CPA and in this video, I'm gonna be going over a response that I did for a client of mine for an IRS CP2000 notice, better known as a proposed amount due notice. Now, the reason the client got this notice was because he didn't report W-2s from IHSS or in-home support services. He also didn't report like a 1099, but really the issue that we fought here were those W-2s from IHSS as they should not be taxable. We got the original proposed amount due notice down from 16,000 to about like five or $600. And I'll show you exactly the notices that we got and our response and how we got this done. So stay tuned. All right, so here is the original notice that he got, right? $16,000 here. And you'll see, yep, again, CP2000 here. Um, and, you know, proposed amount due. You'll see down here that why, right? Explanation of changes for this return. IHSS, these W-2s that he got for almost $84,000. This is essentially for some help that he he does for his, I believe it's his parents that it was. Um, and he gets paid essentially by the state to do this instead of sending them to like nursing homes is what it is. Okay. So that's what these are for. Um, you'll see also he didn't report some interest. We did not fight that. And 1099, right? Non-employee compasses, self-employment. He forgot to report this as well. Did not fight that at all. Okay. So we fought the IHSS payments as being non-taxable these the eighty four thousand that he got should not be taxable um and the reasoning we give is this notice 24-7 uh again this is from the irs i'll include this link in the description so you know you can definitely double check for yourself but uh again it's notice 24-7 is what we use and you'll see down here state medicaid waiver programs is essentially where this uh this ihss falls into here uh medicaid problem for costs uh, of home community-based services provided by individual who otherwise would require care, right, a hospital nursing facility. So that's what uh, he would qualify for. And you'll see up top here, right, excludable under this subsection here. So excludable from, from income. So how did I fix this? Believe it or not, I couldn't even believe this to tell you the truth. All I did was call the number on the notice and I asked him, well, the reason I called the number on the notice is because the taxpayer had it in his mind that he should be amending this return uh, because he had previously called and that's what they told him. And I didn't think that that was correct. I thought, you know, all we had to do is provide a statement essentially saying that, you know, these qualify for this section and they should be able to remove this. But so I called saying, do we really need to file an amended return? And uh, it was really nice lady on the phone really helped me out. She's like, you know what? No, I don't think we need to file an amended return. And she said she could just do it over the phone. I was in disbelief that she would actually make this, you know, $84,000 or 84000 of income adjustment over the phone. But to my disbelief, she actually got it done. She just did it over the phone. I never actually had to file a statement for this. So she just got it done. And, and believe it or not, it took maybe like a month for us to then get the adjusted statement. So if you have this IHSS issue as a CP2000 or proposed amount due notice change, I would highly recommend just giving them a call and having them make the adjustment and reference this um, this notice, 24, uh, 2014-7 notice saying, hey, these uh, IHSS payments are non-taxable. And here it is. This is what we got back um, really quickly. Man, he, he hired me at the end, shoot, I think it was mid-October and we got this thing in, it was less than a month that I got it back fastest I've ever had a turnaround on one of these things for sure. Um, so yeah, it went from the 16,000 to 500 bucks. Well, I hope the video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions on anything you're working on, you want maybe my feedback on, feel free to ask those questions in the comment section and I can do my best to maybe make a video to help you out. Thank you so much.